It's going to be a black, darkish themed scoreboard with some blur, some gradients. Um, really simple. I'm actually going to be uploading this to the workshop. And yeah, so this is my setup here. I just got a hook for hiding and showing my table here. It's been a really long time since I've coded in the for the most part. Um, so I might not be the best, but we will try. But you guys can hear me okay, right? Hopefully, hopefully you can. Um, so I'm just going to return true here, return true. Um, and then this is basically going to disable that scoreboard. I'm pressing tab here. Is my chat busted? Can't really see at the moment. Actually, no, I think it's fine. Anyways, uh, so, oh, there we go. It like was really, really, uh, da, 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 da. behind. I don't know why. I wish I could do something about that. Last scoreboard. Uh, I don't know if this will be my last scoreboard. Hi, Tom. Hi, Down. Close involvement. Yeah, I guess my chat might be a little delayed, so I'm sorry if I don't respond right away. Um, but yeah, we got our we got our scoreboard here, and we're gonna make it do stuff. So how we're gonna do this? I don't really know. We're just kind of gonna throw ourselves at it. So the first thing we need to do is make a method to actually open this. Um, so let's do that. And we'll say, hmm, uh, we'll say scoreboard dot menu is equal to vgui dot create the create D frame. I think this is how you do it. And let's, uh, we should register this stuff. That would be ideal if it was registered, but I forgot to do that. One second, I need to look at some code. Uh, do, 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 do. Uno momento. While I do this, let's see how did I do it? Let's do it for this. I just need that function. The what you call it? The wiki isn't really working out for me right now. Okay. One moment, guys. The scoreboard frame. And then we got the init function. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Slap this back over here. Alright, so we got this. We're gonna say Oh D D frame. That's what it's supposed to be. Uh local panel equals this panel or function panel in it this this gets called whatever the scoreboard is created through for example bjoy.create so we could do scoreboard frame okay oh the wiki's down gotcha yeah it was it was being a little weird i kind of got it to work but i also kind of down um okay what do we want we want localize this here I don't know how big this is going to be. We'll see. Create a new file for panels, please. Your OCD is dying. Sorry, bro. Doing this all in one file for the most part. Or, you know, what? I'll create another file just for you. Uh, simple scoreboard. We'll say like frame. All right. Hopefully this will help you. I don't know what it's like to suffer with a disability, or I don't even know if that's considered a disability. But uh, I'm sorry if that makes it difficult for you. I know it can be pretty bad for some people. Um, okay, there we go. We got that moved right there. What was I doing? We got this, the height there. Um, for now, we'll just center it. Center, scoreboard. And then... We could probably do this in the init function. There we go. It's fine. It's a unique file name. It's not going to break anything. I don't, I'm just making a scoreboard, bro. <laughs> Simple. All right. So we got that uh, scoreboard open. We need to call that. 
go. And we got an error. Attempt to index field menu, a nil value. Fail to create the VGI scoreboard frame. Is this not running? Print, hello. Will this run if I just create a new file like that or do I need to restart? I thought it would recreate it. I'll just do a quick map change. But how is everyone's day today? We got a lot of people watching. Well, I will have a video of this up afterwards, like if you want to check it out. Um, so, yeah, man, if you need to go to bed, I understand. Your day was good. That's great. Your day's just kind of starting. I'm, uh, well, there's our scoreboard. Um, yeah, I'm just a little late to getting up today. I slept in pretty late. So now I'm trying to catch up. I got a lot of stuff to do today. I wanted to make a video about something, but I got to make this first. Can I actually make a, a video about uploading this to the workshop? And I think that'll be kind of neat. Uh, scoreboard.remove. I don't know if we should recreate this every time or just hide it. Probably just hide it. Um, scoreboard.menu. So if it's not valid, we're going to create it. You spent all day hacking on CSGO, that's not, not nice. Um, scoreboard dot menu show. Oh, I guess I could rename this to hide. Um, if not is valid. So of course I've been asked for, I'm watching your code, something else. What do you mean? Art, art? Atro, is that how you say your name? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I'm going to return and we'll say scoreboard.menu. Hide. So we're just gonna hide that. Will that work? There we go. No, it's not being recreated every single time. Very sweet. Okay, so we got that. What am I doing here? Uh we have hiding, we have creating. I guess we could style this now. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and do some stuff here. So, function panel paint. So this is where we're actually gonna decorate our stuff. And from here, I'm going to call this on here. And we'll place me with self. Um, and then let's also do local, I don't even know. Oh, you know what, I th now that this is in a different file, this can't be local. Shit. Okay, let's change that. Uh, whoops, I'm just clicking on the wrong things here. This is not going to be local anymore. We're going to call this simple underscore scoreboard. And we'll do that. And then we'll click on that there. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have PayPal, but <laughs> I appreciate the thought, man. Yeah, PayPal uh, gave me the boot a while ago and I haven't been able to appeal. So I can't do any PayPal transactions, buying, receiving, it, it really sucks. They just decided to freeze my account for no reason. So it's whatever. Uh, okay. Let's say, let's create a thing here. I'll, I'll, I'll actually create the thing here. Uh, we'll say theme. Oh, and then we'll say background. Or we'll call this frame actually. Frame equals color. Good old transparent black. Um, Yasmog7, hello. How long do you think this will take me? Probably like an hour or two. I'm gonna, once I get all this like setup stuff done, it'll be pretty quick. We shall see. Try my best. I actually might just keep all this the same color, but I'm gonna just keep an option to change it at any point if I want. Um, and then we'll take this uh, right here. Whoops, slap that there. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. Thank you for asking. 
So far, so good. Like I said, just a little late to getting out. Uh, but I am pretty solid. Thanks. And your account also got frozen by people? Yeah, I've heard like a bunch of horror stories about that. It, it sucks. It like happens to people randomly over the stupidest stuff and their support isn't very kind about it. I mean, they're just doing their job. It's PayPal's policies that they're following, but it, it just sucks. Okay, we got the gradient here, theme. Okay, so now what we can do is we could say something like this. Little, little theme equals that. And then we can say surface dot set draw color. We're gonna make this the frame color that we just made. Surface. I think this should go afterwards. I'm not sure. Surface dot draw right. So let's go with height. Let's try that. And I create an error. Attempt to index field menu line 30 and nil value. Line 30 menu. Simple scoreboard dot menu. We're gonna create it. Oh crap. This should be scoreboard frame. I made a mistake. Go, let's try it again. Yo, Zerg, what's up, dude? You're not that late. We've only been live for... I don't even know. It doesn't show me. Probably like a few minutes. What's our error? What do we got? Attempt to index global scoreboard. Oh, it should be simple scoreboard. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Simple scoreboard. And we got another error. 11. Same thing. I'm not even reading the errors here. Simple underscore scoreboard blur menu. Simple underscore scoreboard blur menu. I, oh. Kind of working, not what I was going for. I think we're missing something. Why is this white? Theme.frame. Okay, hold on. Let me just... Let me undo some stuff here. I don't know what I did. One second. Okay, there's the blur. That works. That works. It's still good. Frame is that. Set draw color theme dot frame. Draw right. There seems to be moved on. Where's why does it not have any color? Do it needs to happen before? I'm just gonna put a color in here. Zero, zero, with height. What am I doing wrong? This isn't VGI dot register. Dermer dot define controls basically the same thing. VGI register is much faster. So what do I do? Just replace register. As it, what are what are the things? I would pop it up on the wiki, but it's a little busted right now. Let me see if it works. Oh, it's up now. Okay, VGI.register. I didn't know there was a difference. I just thought it was the same thing. Class name, VGI.register, class name. And then we got our panel table. And then returns the table. Okay, let's try that. Strangey, what's up, dude? How are you? Am I, am I blind? Did I forget how to do something? Set draw color. Oh my god. Okay, actually, I don't know. Hello? Why is this not working? What if I just get rid of this? I'm just curious. Get rid of the, get rid of the blur. Is it just invisible then? Oh, it's not even updating. On, let me just reload or something. Something's messed up. Felix, map. Sorry, I'm a little rusty. It's been a moment. Yeah, you're right. My draw color was not a color. <laughs> that was silly. Okay, maybe maybe our refresh will help out. Oh, you know what it is? It's the fact that I'm not recreating it each time. So, I'm going to change this up for a sec while I'm developing. If it's, uh, so let's move that there. We'll say simple scoreboard.menu. We're going to remove it.
Um, I wouldn't pay for a development server. I don't see the point in it. Uh, you can definitely set up like a local development server, which like this that I'm on right now. This is just running on my computer. Um, that way you don't have to really like pay for anything. I, I think it'd be kind of silly to pay for something while you develop it and it's like not ready. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't do single player my, for my personal opinion, just because like if you do single player, you do have all the content available, but sometimes you don't have like, you won't know if the client isn't receiving the files that they need, if that makes sense. Anyways, uh, okay, so we're good here. Let's say self uh, set draggable, is that a thing? False. Okay, we can't drag that anymore. Set title, empty. There we go. There's our scoreboard there. I don't like how there's like this border here. I don't know why that's there. What if I scoot this on down to right there? Okay, there we go, that's much better. Okay, there's our blurred scoreboard, very nice. Okay, now let's add in a title. So I'm gonna say function panel, uh, create title. I'm just gonna put a lot of this in functions. Self dot title bar equals self. I'm going to add a D panel. And I'm going to say self dot title bar. We're going to set this to the top. Dot top. Um, and then real quick, I think we need to set the padding on this. Set uh, was it dock padding. Set it's not dock margin. Dock padding. Let me look it up. One second. Let me pull this up here. There's something on here that has oh it's dock padding. Uh, what am I making it for? Just uh, for a workshop, because I wanna I wanna actually make a video about uploading uh, to workshop, and so I need something to actually upload. So I thought I would do this. Talk about it. Okay. Oh, and then we need to actually call create title. So this should put the title bar at the very top, I think, and it did. Okay, cool. So we got that. Um, and then we'll say self.title bar. We're going to add, I guess we could do a D label, but I'm actually just gonna paint. I think it's fine. Uh, dot paint so function. So we're gonna paint over this title bar. So right now if I go in, it's gone because I've overwritten the paint function. Now I can draw on it, draw out simple text. Um, we'll say simple scoreboard. Uh, and then let me put it on here. Uh, I guess we could put stuff like this. If we don't, let me redo this. Right there. This is basically the same thing. Theme, and then we want um, title. Simple scoreboard developed by Dan FMN. Okay, put that there. Let's see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Thanks so much for being such a part of doing something like this. Many times, it's really fast. It's yourself, it's amazing. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, I uh, I think it'd be cool to make something. I I'd like putting stuff on the workshop. I haven't put something down there in a while. I definitely need more stuff on there. So it actually works out for me. So thank you. Uh, sorry, did you guys make a table for each individual weapon? Uh, yeah. So each item itself was basically an object. Um, okay, there we go. Simple scoreboard, and then we can do we can replace this with simple whoops, simple underscore scoreboard, and then dot title, and then I think this is the default font, so I'm just going to use that temporarily. Ten point five color underscore white text align center text align center. Okay, okay, that's really tiny. We'll make that better in a second. Um, Okay, so we got this. Um, hmm. This could actually be moved. We'll put everything related to the actual thing here. And this would be panel, blur menu. And then panel, this can be replaced with self. And we don't need this argument anymore. And then right here, we could just say self blur menu. And then we can remove self and i think we'll have the same results if i don't break it and we're good it still works cool awesome 
So that looks good. Uh, now we need to create some fonts. I was going to do that here. just wanted to make a bit more room. So local font sizes equals, and we'll create a table here of the font sizes, and we're going to iterate over this. So the title will be like, I don't know, let's try like 36. Um, 36, we'll probably use like 18. 18 is a good size, I think. And we'll say 4i equals 1, the number of font sizes. Do, and we're going to say, we need to add a font. Surface create font. Okay, I just usually copy and paste from here. And then we're going to say simple underscore scoreboard underscore and then we'll index by um I'm gonna say local size equals let me skip this one font sizes and then we're gonna index by i we can concatenate the size here so it'll be like for example simple scoreboard 18 or simple scoreboard 36 then we select the size and it there we don't need all this extra stuff that's fine there and we want Roboto that go uh yo you're french um ça va bro <laughs> uh or is it comme ça va i don't know uh simple scoreboard that looks good so then we go here we slap that into there and then we could say 36 and then ta-da it's kind of big so hmm. we can increase the height of the title here so to do that we could say function panel on size changed height yo you like that did you like the french um i'm trying to think uh je m'appelle dan boom uh ask to parler francais je parle francais très mal you like that <laughs> Um, okay, if uh, self dot title bar, then we're gonna say that we're gonna set the title bar to like set tall height times 0 0.1, 10% of the height of the total frame. That's pretty big. Let's say like 0.8. Okay, okay, okay. Very good, very good. Um, yes, I am using VS Code now. Seven. I, f I feel like that doesn't look right. I don't know why. Um, okay, that's fine. We don't need to be perfect. Okay, so now we need to get rid of that close button. Show close button. We're going to toss that in the can. There we go. Um, can I speak German? Um, yeah, the only thing that I know how to say in German is not a good thing to say. I mean, it's not super bad, but it's it's not great. Nice, dude. That's awesome. See, like it's like kind of like a uh, like ASMR, you know? Why am I coding this? Uh, just to put it on the workshop. I'm making a video about how to upload stuff to the workshop, and I need something to upload, so I'm making this. Um, okay, let's actually get the cropper size in here. This is kind of too wide for me, uh, so let's knock that down. And we're gonna knock up the height a bit. Um, okay, maybe a bit more width. Am I uploading it later to YouTube? Uh, yeah, this video will be on YouTube. It'll, it'll be here to stay. Okay, so I'm gonna add in a bunch of bots. Just so I can have them there. Oh, they're dying. Okay, there's our bots. Um, now, what was I doing? I was gonna do something. Oh, yeah, I was gonna make this portion. So to do that, we're gonna create a body. So function panel create body. You don't really need to put them in all these functions. It's not really necessary, but I just think it helps keep things organized if everything's encapsulated. Self dot body equals self. We're gonna add a D panel. Okay, and then we're gonna say self dot body doc, and we'll say fill, and then uh, we can knock this up here. So we're gonna create the title. Then after that, we're gonna create the body. I say create body and then ta-da there's our body am i going to switch the sandbox eventually yes could i make the text higher on the scoreboard yeah i will at some point um we'll see i think i might knock this down a little bit uh yeah that's absolutely possible for the npcs to walk around or not just walk around like uh fight and stuff uh there's a you can code that with like next bots i'm pretty sure and you can make some pretty good stuff i think this looks nice uh, okay, 
So now let's actually get rid of the body's paint. Can I just say nil? Okay, there we go. There's no painting on the body. And then we're going to add self dot scroll bar. Uh, let's say scroll actually equals self dot body. Add. Actually, do we even need the body? Could we just get away with the scroll bar? We might be able to do that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's scroll. And then we're gonna add B scroll panel. I think that might work. I think it might have been redundant. Okay, and then let's remove this, the paint. I can't even see it. Actually, I think it's good. We're probably good there. Have I heard about La Lox? La La Ux? L A U X? <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I've heard of it though. I'm pretty sure that's like Sleepy's thing. I don't really understand the point of it or why, but um, I mean, there's people that use it. So I guess that's the point, but uh, it's, I haven't really looked into it too much. Uh, what exactly is Crate Body doing? It is just creating a scroll panel that's going to be parented to our D frame. Um, and then from there, we'll add stuff to the, the body or the scroll, um, which is going to be our player panels, which we'll create in a sec. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna create a new file here. I'm gonna say seal simple scoreboard underscore uh, player. Okay, and then we'll take this right here. Uh, come on, there we go. Slap that there. Can I explain what Nutscript is in Gmod? Nutscript is like a framework, kind of. It's like a role-playing framework. I'm pretty sure that someone developed. So it's kind of like Dark RP, but it's just a different, different style completely different code base that people use for role-playing. Uh, oh, I'm French and I want to say that your video server was, uh, I serve you. You like my videos? Thanks, Space. Uh, uh, merci, bro. I, I think that's how you said thank you, right? You love my voice? Awesome. <laughs> thank you, guys. That's very kind of you. Can I rate your scoreboard for your server? Sure, yeah. Can you make this scoreboard using D icon layout, please? Um, I would, but unfortunately, I don't really have a use case for that. Um, I think it would be much more easier for me to just kind of create um, uh, a like a one one column one role sort of sort of deal. Uh, what theme is this? How do I check theme? Uh, Monokai. It's this. It's the one that Sublime uses. Function. Uh, panel. Uh, oh wait. Why is this highlighting with local panel equals this function panel in it? Uh, as classes, some useful for async promises. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, can you try to say that in German? It's in, it's in test. Wait, what am I saying in German? Well, tell me what that means in English first, and then I'll say it. Um, okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, scoreboard player, and this this is gonna be a D panel, okay? And then we can save that, and I think I gotta reload for whatever reason. So I'm gonna have to add all this bots in again. I forget why you have to reload. I don't I don't remember how that works to be honest. Um. Yeah, I wanna I wanna get better at learning French. Like uh, whenever I'm playing basketball with my roommate Xavier, he's like fluent in French. I always ask him how to say things, and he helps me out. Really, growing up, I remember joining your streams, and there was just a few viewers, but now 40. Oh yeah, dude, this is actually insane. This is a lot of viewers for me. I never had this many, so thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Like this is, uh, I'm trying to. It's really, really, really crazy. I was not expecting this. <laughs> um, but yeah, whenever I play basketball, always learning. It means bunnies are racing on the lawn, breathing rat. Breathing, rattling through their noses. All right, let me try to see this. Uh, off, damn, Rosin, Rosin, Hosin, Anton, Roslin, Dirch, Die, Nazin. There we go. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that was exactly what that meant. Um. Okay. Anyways, back to what I was doing. I'm getting a little distracted. Pardon me. Uh, which is fine. It's just totally fine. Um, we need to create some player panels. So 
function panel create uh, or we'll say populate players. Okay, and then we're gonna say 4kb in pairs player dot. Actually, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna do some optimizations here. So we're gonna say 4i equals one the number of uh, wait player dot get count. Is that a thing? Do and and then we're gonna say local poy equals um, player dot get all. We're gonna index by i and then we're gonna say self dot scroll we're gonna call add is that a thing or no we need local player panel equals self dot scroll we're gonna add our thing that we just created here which is our scoreboard player we're gonna slap that there and then we're gonna say player panel we're gonna dock top okay uh thank you thank you hopefully it, it sounded okay Oh, you pronounce die like D. Okay, gotcha. Die. D, 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 die. Okay. Um, scoreboard player. I think that'll just create a single panel for us. Hello? Uh, let me try drawing something here. Because I don't know where this is at. Surface dot set draw color. Color underscore white. I'm going to draw a full size rectangle. And we need these arguments that get passed in through the paint function. Number expecting got user data. Oops, this should be uh, me or okay. So it, it is there. It's there. Um, oh, I'm not calling populate players. That could definitely be important. So let's call self populate players. Sorry guys, I'm a little noob. I'm a little noob right now. There we go. There's our player. Uh, ba 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 ba. Yo, Fuse, what's up? Just coding the scoreboard, bro. Gonna put this on the workshop. Uh, what were my first scripts? My first scripts, I don't even remember. Oh, I made a vending machine. I made a few vending machines. Like, you could just go up to a vending machine, you buy ammo, buy health. It was actually on Gmod store for it, but that was like one of my first scripts. Um, also, I forgot to water my plants today. I gotta do that. Okay, so we're gonna say... Oh, we need to create a table here. Self dot player panels equals this and then we're going to insert the player panels into this table we're going to say player panel equals true okay and then let's shove this down here i'm just moving this down uh stay organized and then we're going to say if self dot player panels and then and we're going to say for kv pairs self dot player panels so we're going to loop over that table and then oh that was nice this is the K is the panel. And then we're gonna say, if not is valid panel, then we're gonna remove the panel from the player panels table, but uh, equals no. And then we're gonna say self dot player panels set, or it's not player panels. It should be panel set tall. We'll say height times 0.1 um, or probably like five. Uh, oh, I did make a SWAT camera. Um, I didn't build that from scratch. Um, I, uh, what do you call it? I teamed up with Custom HQ. He had a developer that coded that for him, but then it broke and then I fixed it for him. Can you make it when you click on the player later? Uh, can you make it collapse when you click on the player later when you have time? Maybe, I'm not really sure. I'm just trying to get something quite simple going, to be honest. I don't want to put in a lot of effort into this because the main purpose of the script is to have something to upload to Workshop. Um, and I do need to do that. I have another job I need to do. I have a test later date for college. So I, uh, I'm a little bit busy today. So yeah. Uh, Charlie reveal, Charlie is downstairs and I don't have my camera set up right now, unfortunately. I do need to do that. Um, okay, let's add in some bots. And now you can see there they are. Let me add in enough so there is um, a scrolling scroll bar. Almost. Oops. Okay. There we go. We got our little scroll bar there. What is the texture? Doesn't it? say reflection like 50 percent what do you mean I'm not not entirely sure what you mean um okay this is good so now 
we need to style these. So let's do that. Function panel. Oh, let's actually make a method to set player. Okay, PLY. We'll say self dot PLY equals PLY. Okay, and then that's good there. Um, function panel paint with height. And you know what? We could actually cache all these values. So self dot data. Let's do that. Self dot data dot name equals PLY name. Self dot data dot kills or no we don't actually no we can't cache this because we need to update so that will be fine okay surface dot set draw color and we're gonna do a local theme what we got going on here uh can't you use arrows in server console oh yeah i could but i just felt like typing uh simple scoreboard dot theme and then we'll say theme dot panel surface dot draw right height and then ta-da it looks like that that's okay then all right this is the spicy part uh what do you what's up dude how are you uh welcome to the street my guy what was i doing i was thinking oh the gradient um okay so we'll say surface dot set material and we'll say theme dot gradient and we'll say surface dot set draw color and then we'll do um if if is valid self dot poy then so if the player is valid do i have to do a valid check for a player i think i might um we'll say theme or we'll say self dot poy or no 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 team dot get color and then we'll do self dot poy team and then we'll say surface dot draw textured rect zero zero with height just like that and there's not gonna be any difference Dars, thank you dude have a good one i appreciate you being here it's always nice to have you what picture uh you're using this gradient like yeah i just have a, P uh, a png that i'm going to use for the gradient um okay so we got that what was i doing oh we have to call set player so we'll do that actually let me turn up the music here it's a little quiet okay there we go okay 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 um so we have the gradient we need the gradient color that's the thing that i was adding no i wasn't adding that okay so yeah we just need to call set player so we'll do that whenever we blah, 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 are here yeah so we'll do player panel set player and then we'll call PLY ta-da now there's that gradient it doesn't look very nice back to back like that so we need some dock margin actually I feel like or should they all be like that hmm I have no idea what I'm going to do with the styling here but white is definitely not the color we want. Oh, I need to do something real quick. And I can't can't show it on stream. One second, one second, one second. Uh, sorry about the, the camera there. It's currently not available. One moment. I want to use deconfig for something, but I need to hide something because it uh You know, it's not it's not ready. Um navigation. It'll be one moment. I think that'll do it. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, I'm just gonna use deconfig. Let me open up my chat again, sorry. There we go. All right, jobs. I wanna change the color. Uh, something nicer, like a red. I like red, red's nice. Or well, no, we'll do blue, we'll do blue. And if I'm in blue. There we go. Okay, now everyone's that blue color. Yo, Alan, how are you, man? Welcome. Okay, now I just need to create, like, I need to do, I need to randomly set people's uh, teams. So we get some variety here. So 4K being pairs. Player.get all. I'm pretty sure there's a few teams that we got. Uh, we're gonna say peel or V set team math.random. 1 through like 10. 
we go. Now we got some variety there. Ta-da! Okay. There's all our teams, all the random colors. Alright, uh, let's get an avatar going. I think an avatar would be helpful, or nice looking. Uh, where are we at here? Is this one? Go here. The avatar. That's for the blur, that material. Okay, wow, this is new. Never seen that. Um, hello? This music is not all the same, like, volume. Is this for Gmod Store? No, this is for, um, whatchamacallit, Workshop. Okay, we need to add in this. Um, let's say self dot avatar um whoops avatar self dot avatar self dot avatar we're going to set the player to poy and then we're going to dock left and then this will be we're going to call add and we'll say self add there we go now we got our avatar image there Please sort the jobs. Okay. Well, one, one, one thing at a time. We'll get there. Okay. Um, that looks okay. Almost. Um, so I'm trying to think how I should do this. Function panel on size changed. Yep. Height. Okay. Um, I have no idea how I want to style this, but I do think I want to make these panels a little bit bigger. So let me do that. So six percent. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, I could use docking for this, but I'm not sure if I want to use docking, or if I just want to manually place things. This is the hard part. Um, anyways, you know what, should there be spacing? Vertical spacing, you think? Should there even be these colors? Should I use the gradient? I don't know. What do you guys think? Any input? Uh, I guess, you know, we could sort this, actually. Let's go ahead and sort it, because that will make it look nicer already. Table.sort. Sorter. Okay. Um, let's go here. Local sorted players equals table dot sort, and then we need the table. So, or no, wrong thing here. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe the gradient is not good. Uh, player dot get count. We're actually going to need to change this. So. Sorted players do, um, and then I think this would be POI. I think that will still do the same thing. This needs to be player.get all, and then function A, B. I don't really understand how this works. Give me one sec. Return A to okay, we want to do return A team is greater than B. And we got an error. Table expects got nil. Sorted players. Do I return something? Oh, you just called table.sort. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Ta da. And then we do sorted players like that. And then we just call table.sort. Ta da. Okay, all the colors are sorted. Okay, so we got make gradient an option. Sure, yeah, we can do that. Um, one second. What am I doing? Uh, enable gradient equals true, and this should maybe be enable just like that. Okay, and then we'll go here. 
if team dot enable gradient, then um, I'll say else. Let's shove that up there. I'm just gonna do this, but this is just gonna be a regular too. Okay, so there's the gradient, and then we'll do false. No gradient. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of bad. Um, I want to actually make this transparent. Surface offset alpha multiplier 0.5 surface dot set one. Why does that look bad? So bad. Maybe maybe I need to move this down here. Oh, there we go. Okay, that does that. We need some padding or something. This is just not looking good. This is for a tutorial? Kind of, yeah. I mean, you can learn off of this. Uh, this is primarily for um, a tutorial that's later down the line where I'm going to show you how to upload something to the workshop. Can I make a player counter in the title? Sure, yeah. I can do that for you. I think that looks a bit nicer. Okay, there definitely needs to be some way to... There needs to be, like, lines. Set draw color. White. So it's got draw rect. This will be zero height minus two width two. Hmm. Okay, let's add some padding. Let's just try a little bit of padding. Uh, margin left, margin top. looking a bit nicer okay then we need some padding okay local xpad hmm I'll put it up in here padding equals this x equals zero width times point zero zero five y equals s your height times point one yeah I think that's good so then we can do, 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 do. We could say, what do I want? Local x pad, y pad equals simple scoreboard dot padding dot x simple scoreboard dot padding dot y. Give me one second, I'll look at chat. And I'll make that update so that's good there. Can I add a fade in when pressing tap? Sure, yeah, absolutely. I could do that. Uh, what's the difference of padding and docking? So docking is kind of like, um, for example, I have everything docking top. So what that means is it's going to go all the way up to the top. The width is gonna be 100% and then you can adjust the height. Whereas if you do dock left, I believe, the height will be 100% and then the width you can adjust and be all the way to the left. If you do dock fill, it's going to take up the entire thing. And then padding is just the vert, like, uh, like spacing. Can I add a player counter? Absolutely. I will do that for you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the difference there. I think that looks a bit nicer. Um, I, I want to get rid of this, uh, scroll bar here or style that, but I forgot to do that one second give me one moment i'm actually going to check something uh and through some of my code and just do that real quick ba -da -ba 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 -ba. what is this i know what i'm looking for frame sorry guys it'll just be a quick moment scroll bar. I have a function for this. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I was looking through some code that is not available to the public. Uh, yes. 
the colors are based off of the Dr. B jobs or their team. Right now, I think I might make this game mode agnostic. So it'll support multiple. We'll see. We'll see what I want to do. Uh, oops. Oops. Move that. Okay, let's go here. Uh, we'll replace this with simple underscore scoreboard. Paint scoreboard. And actually, this can be moved into this file here. I'll put this next to here. Okay, and then we'll say uh, function self paint scroll bar s bar. Um, and then we don't need that because we have scroll. And actually, we don't even need this whole function. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I'm integrating code from another add on into this. Okay, so we have create body. Uh, we don't need this. Say do 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 do. We'll do local theme equals simple underscore scoreboard dot theme theme dot panel. Okay, that's good. When you add the player counter, can you add some interpolation so it has some kind of smoothness? I know what you're saying, but unfortunately, I do not have time for that. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Uh, you want to get this map? Um, I'll go ahead and upload it in my Discord. Or maybe, oh, I could upload it to Workshop. Oh, that would have been a good idea. That could have been the add-on. Oh, well. Oh, and thank you. That is a good point. This should be capital T. Okay, look at theme, theme.panel. Theme dot theme, uh, theme dot scroll fill. Let's just make this a pretty color for now. Uh, color zero zero zero, and then we'll pick a color here. Go like that. That's a good color. Um, or actually, let's make this a theme. Theme dot theme. This is kind of a theme dot. It's not really nice. I think that's fine there. Okay, bar color. Theme dot panel. Okay, I think this is good. Self dot scroll. And then wherever there's S bar that needs to be replaced with self dot scroll. Will this work? <gasps> Ta da! Okay, that can be white. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll upload the map as well. Um, I don't know how I want to style this. Yo, TSM, dude, have a good one, man. Whoops, didn't mean for that to happen. But uh, thanks for thanks for hanging out. Okay, what do we do? How do I style this? What am I looking for? Let me add back in the gradient. How does that look now? Actually, that doesn't look too bad now. Um, and I think that the title should be capitalized. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. Let's add that player counter. Okay, so we have the, the title. Um, and maybe we can reduce the size of the title in a sec. Maybe we're like this much. And then we can add function panel create subtitle. And I'll just call that in here. Okay, and then we're gonna say self dot subtitle equals self add. We can actually just copy all this. Save ourselves some time. Okay, and then replace this with that there we go text align center and then this one we can say 18 I think that's a good font and then we will get some uh, stuff here so we'll just say players um, there we go a little too small let's add a, a 24 <coughs> excuse me okay Okay, that looks fine. Um, trying to think how this should be done. So if we do doc left, doc left, doc left, that could be good. Okay. So I'm gonna 
just do that. And then let's increase the size of the go we got that there we go okay now we're gonna do something kind of fancy so we're gonna have a subtitle equals this and then we'll have name or we'll say title. Uh, title equals players. Get get text will be a function. I forget how this works. Can I do this? Will that work? Equals function, and then I I can just return a player dot get count. I don't know if that will work. Let's try that. No errors? Good. Okay. You like the new update from Gmod Publisher? Are you talking about the one that Billy made? Um, okay. So let's do 4K V in pairs. And then we're gonna do simple scoreboard dot subtitle. Do and and then we're gonna say uh, what are we going to say? We're going to do something. Something good. We're going to say local panel equals self dot subtitle. We're going to add a D label. Is that a thing? Panel. Stencils is used to like, for example, if you want to create like a circular, circular avatar, you would use a stencil. And it's kind of like a way to I think like mask out certain portions of whatever you're drawing so yeah I, I don't I don't really know uh, too much about it but I do I've used it before do I understand it not really um, there's not a lot of information about it and there hasn't been oh actually no pro there's probably some information on the the face punch forms but they d took those down back in the day uh, okay, we're gonna dock left. Okay. All right, okay, okay. And then we'll say, okay. And then we're gonna say panel, we'll say, we'll call this a label. Label. And we're gonna set the font to simple scoreboard. Four. Your PSU is not going to explode. Why were you thinking it was going to explode? Set text. V dot get text. Is that a thing? Uh, v dot title. Can I do that? Will that work? Okay. Cool. 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 Okay, and then we'll say self dot subtitle labels equals a table. Okay, and then we're gonna shove this into here. Also, I'm kind of making this somewhat advanced, I would say. Self dot subtitle labels. Um, label equals true. Okay, and then do the same thing here. If uh, oops, self dot subtitle labels, then for KVM pairs. We're gonna say V, or no, label, label set wide, and then we're gonna do with divided by table dot count self dot subtitle labels. Will that work? Go, okay. And then can I do player, not player. I think this might work. Label, um, set content alignment. And then I think it's five.
Do I know how to code in the player's operating system in the player's country? Uh, I do not, but I'm sure we can... We can look. You're so slow in programming? It takes practice, man. Definitely, definitely lots of practice. How many words can I do per minute? Uh, I think somewhere between like 90 to 110. Also, I don't know where this is from. But uh, I'm sure they'll go away. Anyways, we have our little title there. Now watch this. What I just coded is going to be kind of sweet. Because if I wanted to add an extra thing, like um, Discord, I would say like HTTPS Discord dot gg slash danfmn and it breaks because i made a little whoopsie we gotta, we gotta slap that there and ta-da there it is only problem though is the alignment i guess i think it would look better if we have another one though hmm. i guess we could make it text align left or center I think that might work. Actually, we could just make it an empty title. Just like that. Ta-da! So now we can actually add a bunch of stuff to it and have it like resize and we can do unlimited for the most part. Ta-da! Voila! Okay, um, let's just do players. And then what else did we want? Is there anything else we should add? I think that's fine. Okay, let's add in some names here. So then we're gonna do draw dot simple text self dot poy name. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, simple scoreboard underscore eighteen. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any padding or anything like that. Any anything fancy. I'm actually just gonna uh, do it like this. Two. Uh, color underscore white. Pixel line left. Yo, what do you mean localize? What do you want me to localize? A little too far. Actually, this might cause some complications because of this. Well, we can local avatar. W equals self dot avatar. Get wide. Tar width plus, and then let's just say like five. Or what if we just do? that okay it's directly there um equals simple scoreboard dot party dot x okay plus x party there we go pretty good pretty good kind of like that okay um, I'm trying to think. We're gonna need some padding on this. It was left, top, right, bottom. Is there a video on how to set up VS Code for Lua? I uh, no, but if you wanted to do that, I think you just go to the GLUA extensions and you want to get this one right here and install it. This one by Billy is really good. Definitely recommend it. And then you should be good to go for the most part. Doc margin. Okay. Uh, local X pad, Y pad equals simple. Also, I'm probably gonna need to update this value here, this padding. Uh, whenever, do, 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 uh, whatever the resolution changes, <clears throat> excuse me. What does that look like? Not what I wanted. Okay, so if we're docking left, we can control the width. So we're going to say, can I do that? Will that work? Will this make it a square? Oops, sorry for smacking that. Is it because of the margin? Okay, I'm just gonna remove all this real quick. 
Why would that not work? If we're docking left. Oh, maybe I need to do it on self avatar size change. Let me try that. Okay, let's do that. Oh. Okay, and then let's add this back in. Uh, let's take this out for now. We're good. Okay, that seems to be working now. Y pad, X pad. How long have I been streaming? Can you guys tell? Let's say how long we're up for. There we go. There we go. There we go. Looking good. Um, and then let's just add Y pad to this. All right, and then this should be X pad. Let's keep it consistent. Oh, okay, for sure. Not bad. Thank you. Uh, let's fix that there. Okay. And then this should be text line bottom, I'm pretty sure. Or is it top? Top, top, top. Opposite of what I wanted. There we go. Okay. And add two to that. Ideally, you'd want to change this up a little bit, make it a little bit better in terms of uh, how this is done. Primarily with padding. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm going to make this I'm gonna make this easier myself. Happy B-Day? My B-Day? You say happy B-Day to me? Is this one's birthday in the, in the chat? Oh! It's your birthday in 32 minutes! Oh! Dude, happy early birthday! Congrats! How's it feel? Self dot content panel. Self. Oh, we need to do this after we set the player. Uh, content panel self dot add. Right. Oh, whoops! Not not self dot add. We're gonna add a D panel. Can I just dock fill? What will that look like? Okay, good. That works. Great, great, great. Okay. And then we're going to do all of this right here on the concept panel, I think. Or no, this is going to go on the concept panel. Okay, there we go, and ta-da, we don't need this anymore, we don't even need that, I don't think, I think we could just do zero, zero, and then what do we get? I'm going to keep that there for now, ta-da, same results, but now it's a little bit better, because we can now easily manipulate everything, okay. So then, how do I want to do this? Hmm. I'm trying to think. So we have... What I could do is I could create like a... Like a bunch of sub data here that kind of goes out forward. Um, how would you feel about that? Like, it would say like kills, amount of money. Uh, I don't know. Bunch of stuff. Player information. Uh, title. I would say, yeah, we'll say title. We'll keep the same format. Kills. Get text equals function. We'll pass in player. And return poi frags. End. Okay, and then we'll say money, and we'll do darker p, format money, uh, do, 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 do. format money, py, get dark rp, noir, I think it's money, okay, 
and then we'll go here and we'll say oh here go here okay we'll do for i equals one the number of simple scoreboard dot player information data okay info data equals index i okay and then let's shove this down here and then we're going to say info data info data dot title and then we'll cut a info data get text and then we need to pass in the player so self.poy and then we'll say local xpos or x Pos equals zero. We'll pass in the x position there, and then we'll do height times like 0.2, or we'll do height, and then text align bottom. Will that work? There we go. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Function k data dot multiply. because you can't run or wait no I would have to see that structured <laughs> I'm sorry um, okay let me so now what we need to do is have this scoot over based on the text like width so surface dot set font we're gonna set the font to the simple scoreboard. 18. Okay, we're gonna say local text w equals, or we'll say local text equals this, so we can cache this because we're gonna use this multiple times. Okay, and then we're gonna say uh, local text w equals surface dot get text size. So it's gonna return pixels of our size of that, and then we're gonna say xpos equals xpos plus text w plus xpad and ta-da now we can add unlimited stuff there and have that work so let's add like i don't even know now that i think about it, it doesn't need to be this wide let's add ping ta-da there's ping Let's see my ping. What else do we want? Add debts. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Debts. Ta da! Just like that. Look at that go. Go. Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, I want to reduce some size though of the subtitle panel. I feel like that's a little too big. On size change, subtitle, let's make that like 2.5. Half the size. There we go. Oh yeah, rank, rank, rank. Okay. Um, so we can do something like this. User equals user <coughs> excuse me Rasam, thank you dude glad you like it i think it looks okay uh, a lot better than i expected to be honest all right so now we're just creating some like lookups for uh the ranks here i'm just going to do the most common ones founder owner or whoops Usually these are all lowercase. And even if they're not, we can still fix that. Owner. VIP. VIP. Okay. So then we could say, let's do the rank first. We'll return local rank equals POI get user group. 
Okay, and then, or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add it so you can copy the Steam ID. I will see. Uh, I'm kind of on a tight schedule today, so I'm not sure how many features I will pack into this. But maybe at a later stream, I can work on this a bit more and add in some more features. But right now, I'm just trying to get like a basic template going out. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. But I'll make it so many copy, like click on them. For now, it just copies their Steam ID. We can do that simple for now. Um, but yeah, later down the line, we can add more features like that. Am I going to post streaming history on YouTube? Yeah, this will definitely be on YouTube for sure. So you can check that out afterwards. Um, okay, so right now I'm just going to return rank just to see what we're working with here. We got an error. Oh, whoops. Okay, so we can see the ranks here. I got super admin, but I don't like how this looks, right? So we got to format that to make it look a little bit better. So let's do that. And we'll say rank is equal to uh, simple underscore scoreboard dot ranks rank or rank will that work no that won't give me one second Oh, sorry, I got some company here. Um, so if you guys don't know Jordan, this is my girlfriend. She just wants to say hi. Hi guys! Subscribe to Dan FMN. There you go. You heard it from her. Anyways, love you. Um, then there would be preferred. All right, so I gotta get done pretty quick. I have some company over. Um, anyways, let's get to it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so we got that. Our ranks are set there. She actually left the room, but I'll let, let her know that you guys said hi. I think this is starting to look pretty decent. Um, what would be pretty nice about this is to have all of it line up um, exactly the same, not based on the size of the text, but I think that will have to come at a later time. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm trying to think, what can we add to the top here? Any suggestions? I'm so gonna skip the song. It's a little sad. Well, the songs are sad. I want like chill vibes, you know. Ah, job name, job name. Okay, they can do job name. Uh, do, 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 do kills death. Let's add that here. Say job, and then we'll just return team.get name. Poi. Okay. That's a fair point. I can add margin to the bottom there. Um, where are we at? Create body. Uh, local y pad equals simple. One for scoreboard dot padding dot y self dot scroll dot margin zero 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 y pad. Ta da! Now we get some padding on the bottom. That was a good suggestion. FPS counter. Oh, D. On the FPS or on the scoreboard. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I, what else I want to put. We get the players. We need something else right here. Total money at the top. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, I like that. Um, okay, total money. Oh, I should probably cash this. Uh, okay. Simple scoreboard. dot get total money I'm gonna say local money equals zero we'll do four kvm pairs player dot get to all do okay I'm gonna say money equals money plus v get dark rp var money okay and then return money and then actually we'll say We'll replace this all with total money. 
Okay, and then we're gonna say a uh, local last last call equals current time. Okay, and then we're gonna say if last call is uh, plus I don't know ten is less than current time. Uh, we'll say five five. Then we're going to do this, and then we'll say last call is current time. So this is going to get called every single frame. So to make it so that this gets delayed, I mean, I guess I could update it for every single one. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We'll just cache it here. Okay. So then total money. And then let's do, oh. Uh, say local formatted. Ah, no, it's fine. We'll just format it on there. Darker P, format money. Okay. Uh, Unexpected symbol line 78. What did I do? Total money equals total money. Oops. Whoopsie plus. Total money is zero. Oh, this needs to be ran. Minus five. There we go. There we go, there we go. All right, sorry, I haven't had a chance to look at chat. Uh, I've been watching your tutorials for a long time. I've been able to create many things. Dude, Donnie, that is awesome. I'm glad you were able to create something like that. That was the whole purpose of my tutorials. That makes me really happy to hear that. Thank you. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, uptime of the server. Okay, I will add that. Do I think Sandbox will get as popular as Gmod? Absolutely. Without a doubt. For sure. I think. Hopefully. Uh, total money players. Uptime. Uptime. Is uptime based off of cure time? Right? Would that, would that be time? Time. Real time. What's real time? Uptime. Okay, real time. Uh, I need to format that, that the string dot format at time. Okay, we'll do that. All right, uptime. Um, and then we'll return string dot formatted time. And then we'll say real time. Send to concatenate a table value. Oh, does this return a table? I don't know. Do I need to pass in this? Is it time in seconds that we pass in? Oh, there we go. That doesn't seem right. Oh wait, no, that does seem right. There's milliseconds. Okay, whoops. How do I take off milliseconds? We don't need that. I honestly don't know how formatting time works, but I think if I knock off one of these, we're probably good. There we go. The only thing is it doesn't update, actually. I thought it would update every single time. Line 29, local rank? What? Line 29, local... Oh, whoops. Thank you. Appreciate that. There we go. Now I just need to get this to update every single time. I thought it would, because this is getting called in the frame. So, why doesn't that update? You know? I guess that's fine. I just don't understand why that's not... Why that wouldn't do that? Oh, I'm not gonna worry about it. I think this is a good point for us right here. I, I, I kinda like this. I'm gonna go ahead and I think cut it off for here. 
Um, and then next video that I'm going to make, I'm going to actually upload this to the workshop so you guys can get it and take a look at the source code. But uh, I think for now, actually, this will be good. I do have some stuff to take care of. So thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Hopefully you learned something and uh, hope you guys have a great day or night. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.